Hello. Oh, oh hi. Okay, apparently Ember's doing introductions today. You gonna do the intro to the video? Is that what's happening? You intro in the video? What are, what are we doing? Hey. Oh. And he's gone. So I've been reading through the comments and I also kind of did a little poll asking what you guys would like to see in a vlog. And it was pretty unanimous that you guys want to see kind of what my daily routine with CF is like. Meds I take, what my routine is, what machines I use, you know, yada, 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 all that stuff. You guys have spoken, so we're gonna do it. Before I even get started with this, every person with cystic fibrosis is different. This is just kind of my routine and what I do, and I'm not going to over-exaggerate anything for the sake of amping up the CF card. I can't do that. Other people kind of like to overhype their condition, bust out the tiny violins to garner more views. It's never gonna be me. What you see is what you get. So my day starts out kind of like anybody else's day, really. I open my eyes, I finally sit up, the day's going good, and then all of a sudden the first cough of the day hits. <laughs> <laughs> Kill me now. Yeah. <laughs> uh. After my soul returns to my body, I decide to finally get up and zombie my way through the house, and hopefully no one talks to me because I hate being talked to when I first wake up in the morning. Zombie my way to the kitchen while still coughing my brains out, because that really doesn't stop for a while after you first wake up with CF. Ah. Load in my biohazard coffee, turn it on, get me a real nice uh, nice coffee buzz going, because who can start their day without coffee? Mosey over to the counter, pop a whole bunch of pills, wash it down with my biohazard coffee, because that's just, you know, the healthy thing to do. Sit here at my workstation, sip some more coffee, grab my medical cart, Strap on my wonderful Aflo vest, get my nebulizer, put it in my mouth while looking very enthused, turn it on, and I'm good to go for about 45 minutes. After that, I zombie my way back to the bathroom to get my shower. I come out of the bathroom looking entirely too fresh for any human being in the world, brush myself off because I look damn good, and then mosey my way on back to the living room, sit down in this chair right here, start doing work, and usually start making content for you guys. Now during that first bit, when I coughed up a lung, uh, when I said first cough of the day, you go to sleep, uh, all the mucus and everything that you need to move out of your lungs just sits there. So, you know, if you're sleeping for eight hours, the mucus is just sitting in your lungs, it's not moving, just getting caked to your airways. So whenever you wake up in the morning, your first couple breaths, you're like, oh man, like, it's a bright, wonderful day. And then the first cough of the day comes and punches you in the dick. So you cough and it kind of feels like coughing up rocks mixed with razor blades. Like if you got a rock and you dumped in some glue and tape razor blades to it, that's basically what it feels like uh, whenever you do your first cough of the day. Sometimes it just carries on and on and on and on and on and on. And now to all the pills that I take whenever I wake up in the morning. I mean, it's just, it, it's just, it's just, a, it's just, it's just a few little guys. I definitely take way less pills than a lot of other CFers, <clears throat> but here is what I take. Allegra, that's just for allergies. I'm actually allergic to dogs and cats. The Allegra keeps the, uh, the itching and the sneezing away because, I mean, if you gave me a choice of like, be sick or have animals, I'm gonna be sick. Animals, I just love animals, all the animals. Give me all the animals. Next up, I take Moringa supplements. That has a lot of really rad beneficial properties to it. Helps fight inflammation, has a ton of antioxidants. It's filled with a lot of nutrients and vitamins. I like to do my best to counter all of the harsh medicine that I take with kind of natural things because obviously I'll never be able to cut out all of the harsh medicine because that's just, it keeps me alive. But I like to walk a fine balance between like prescribed doctor medications and then natural remedies. Next are these little babies. These are just uh, cystic fibrosis vitamins. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother with the name because they literally send a different product every month, just different ones. Source CF, ADEC, whatever. Uh, they're loaded with vitamin A, D, E, and K, among tons of other things. Well, with CF, our vitamin levels are always shitty. We don't absorb 
vitamins and nutrients from food like normal people. So that's where these bad boys come into play. I'm not sure why these don't have a label. These are just a Meprazol, generic Prilosec. Helps with acid reflux, you know, indigestion, stomach problems. Very basic, boring medicine. Next are my Zen Peps. These are, these are my lifeline right here. With cystic fibrosis, it affects your digestive system, not just your lungs. Most people with cystic fibrosis have pancreatic insufficiency. It's the inability to, di to digest food, so every time that we eat, we have to take digestive enzymes. I take three of these with meals, two with snacks, there's Zenpep 40,000s, and that's every time I eat, like no matter what. If I leave the house without these, and I go to like a restaurant or something like that, I just can't eat. I mean, I could, but it's gonna be super painful later, and I'll be stuck in the bathroom for like one or two days. Maybe TMI, but it's terrible. It's no fun whatsoever. The pain that you get in your gut, maybe not as severe, but like when girls have period cramps, it's what I just imagine period cramps would feel like. Because one minute you're fine, the next minute someone's stabbing a knife in your gut and you're doubled over wanting to die. Next up is game changer and a life changer for me. This is Orcambi. So I'm actually gonna be switching to a different medication that's pretty much the same as this called Simdeco soon. Has a lower side effect profile and a little, they've tweaked the formula a little, a little bit. The first medication to come out like this was called Kaleidico. It was a game changer. I couldn't take it though because cystic fibrosis is broke up into multiple gene types. So the medication Kaleidico didn't cover my gene type. Or can be does. And basically what or can be does, this Kaleidico drugs like these are the first ones to get in and really modify your body at a cellular level. They help more chlorine pass in and out of the cells to better help the salt balance in your lungs and organs, which helps thin mucus, helps get the mucus out, <clears throat> and can increase lung functions. Or can be this it's very hit or miss. It works wonders for some people, doesn't do anything for others, makes some people worse. It has been a game changer for me, like absolutely incredible. And there's actually uh, more coming down the pipeline that are the same type of medications, but they've added a third drug into here. This is made up of two. They've added a third into here, and the, <clears throat> the reviews that are coming out of that drug from the clinical trials are absolutely astounding. Like with Orcambi, the, if someone gained three to 4% lung, lung function off of Orcambi, it was, you know, groundbreaking. Like, cause gaining any lung functions back when you have cystic fibrosis is key. Like, that's the thing about CF, there is no cure for it. It's all about trying to slow the downward progress of the disease. But with this new drug, they've been reporting uh, increases of 10% plus, which is just like, just absolutely insane. A little fun fact about Orcambi though, this drug costs $250,000 a year. Actually $252,000 a year, my bad. Thank you, insurance and patient assistance programs. Uh, the one that I'm about to switch to, Simdeco, costs, I believe, $292,000 a year. So I can only imagine what the new triple drug is going to cost. If I had to guess, I would say anywhere between like $350,000 to possibly four hundred dollars a year. You know, thankfully, there are patient assistance programs and things that can help, but it also begs to question, what's the price you put on a human life? How much are you willing to pay to stay alive? One of my next heavy hitters is called Indrepta, Indrepta C, actually. Now I'm not gonna get into every little detail of this thing. It does similar to what or can be and those drugs try to do. This uses all natural supplements in it. And you know, the CF community is very divided on this. Some people say it's a scam. Some people say it doesn't work. For me, it has worked wonders. I can tell a difference on it, not just placebo. And the other thing about the CF community is most of the time if it's not written by a doctor or a doctor doesn't like Love it and just suck it off like there's no tomorrow the CF community automatically just like I'm I'm not using that My doctor said that this is bad. I consider myself kind of a human guinea pig And so I will try anything and this I swear by this in Drepta uh, It's awesome it costs about 50 bucks a month. I pay it of course just out of pocket but I mean, it works wonders for me. I love it. So the CF community can just be closed-minded for anything that's not FDA approved. I am very proactive in my health and taking alternative approaches to, fi to fixing my health. And my doctor is very open to back and forth ideas. He's like, he's cool with me trying whatever. If it hurts me, stop it. If it's good, bam, great. I wanna be stuck in their little bubble, that's fine. But for me, Interrupta is absolutely awesome. I endorse this product 100%. If you have CF, you should go try this right now.
Then I use an Advair inhaler every day, which I haven't used today, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Mmm, delicious. That's it for the pills. Let's move on to the machines. So I start off using an albuterol nebulizer. And a lot of people have been asking me about this. This is just an attachment that hooks to your regular old neb, no matter which kind you have. I'm using the cheap hospital kind right now just because I left with like 80. And so they were free, so I'm just using these. This, not exactly sure how they pronounce it. Aerobica, aerobica, I don't know. But if you guys are wondering what it does, you can attach this to when you're doing your treatment and it works kind of in the same way as the flutter or if you looked at that machine that I was using in the hospital, the Metaneb, the way that it kind of sent vibrations into your lungs, this does the same on the exhale. <coughs> really gets a nice flutter going in your lungs to get you coughing and help moving stuff. I keep it attached for all my nebulizers. Like I was just using it with my next set, but I just keep it attached for the whole thing. The extra clearance isn't gonna hurt anything. Next up, this awesome guy. Yeah. This is my Aflo vest. The Aflo vest, while some may mistake it for a giant child's life jacket, is an airway clearance device. <clears throat> um, there's been a lot of models of these over the years but I use Aflo. Basically what this does is you turn it on and this has vibrating nodes throughout the front and the back. And it sends vibrations into your chest walls and helps shake up your lungs and shake loose the, mu the mucus secretions that get stuck to the walls of the lungs to help you cough it out better. This one isn't very loud, but I can turn it on. You guys might be able to hear it a little bit. Not sure if you can hear that. You might be able to hear my voice goes a little robot-esque. Thing that's game changing about the Aflo vest is this is the first and best portable vest there is around. You know, most therapy vests, you're stuck sitting in a chair for 30 minutes at a time or however long you do your vest. You have to sit there, you're stuck, can't do anything. Aflo vest, you're totally portable. I can do whatever I want. I can clean the house, I can do whatever I want with this guy on. There are other companies right now who have portable vests that basically knocked off this design. Aflo Vest did it first, they did it better, and they still do it the best. When it comes to portable vests, I will forever be Team Aflo. They have great customer service, their product is absolutely amazing. <coughs> it totally rattles you without shaking around you. Best portable vest there is. So whenever I'm like mountain climbing, hiking, traveling, Take this baby with you. It hardly weighs anything at all. <clears throat> and yeah, I mean, look, I'm vlogging right now while getting my getting my lung therapy in. So, I mean, you just can't beat it. Aflo vest is the way to go if you're gonna get a portable vest. Do this while doing a nebulizer uh, with hypertonic saline in it. It's just super, super strong concentrated salt water that gets in to basically lube up your lungs, get chloride in there, help move the mucus out. It is an absolute lifesaver for me. After 30 minutes of the vest and the saline, I end with a Palmazine treatment. Uh, every other month, I go on uh, Tobramycin, but it comes in like a little pod haler, so you just inhale this powder. Uh, I don't have it on me right now, because this is my off month, and they haven't delivered my shipment yet. So, <clears throat> but you can Google it if you'd like, Toby pod haler, learn about it. The question I always get is how long it all takes. I probably spend, I have to do this routine twice a day and it takes about probably takes right at an hour so two hours a day hooked up to breathing machines more than that if i'm sick like if i'm sick then i'm just i'm doing this three to four times a day i'm doing my albuterol however many times a day in order to breathe <clears throat> like before i went in the hospital this past time i was basically living on this thing and living on breathing treatments <clears throat> so it really just depends like I couldn't tell you how many hours or days or months or years of my life I've spent hooked up to these things, but the thing about it is you can't think of it as an inconvenience. You have to just, it has to be part of your routine. Like I wake up and I just put this on. I don't think about it. Well, I just do it. Basically the way that I think about it is if I miss it, there's lung function that I'm never going to get back. There's letting mucus sit in my lungs and kill me and possibly never going to be able to get that part of my lungs back. So. Instead of sitting around and whining about how much my life sucks and whining about how I don't want to do treatments and how I wish I was normal and blah, 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 
I just put the shit on and I get it done. Now, am I 100% compliant? No. Is anyone 100% compliant? <clears throat> Maybe, but doubtful. Cause you never know what ha like what can happen and you end up missing a treatment or something like that. You know, you could be out of town, you could be on a mountain climbing, you could have just, you know, went out and been celebrating with your friends or whatever and had too much to drink, you come home and pass out and you forget to do your vest. No, that's not a responsible thing or whatever, but life happens. If this is available and I'm not busy and there's, there's not some scenario happening like I just mentioned, I do the vest, I don't make any complaints about it. If I do miss it, you know, it sucks, but I immediately do it whenever I can and I, you know, I carry on like, but for the most part, no matter where I am, I get it done. I've been with friends and we've went out to celebrate friends' birthday or going out to, you know, bars or clubs. And I have literally taken this thing in the car with me to do on the way to the bar. We come out of the bar and my tipsy ass straps this on in the car and does it on the way home. Yes, I used to take my old heavy vest in the car with me along with my nebulizer. People always give excuses about why they can't do their treatments, it inconveniences them. All, that's all they are right there, are excuses. You either wanna live or you wanna die. I also try to work out during the day since I've had this port place. I've just been doing like push-ups and stuff as I said before. But I'm always trying to do things to keep my, keep my lungs healthy, get huffing and puffing, and you know, just stay, staying active as humanly possible. I push myself, you know? I go hiking as much as I can. You know, I get outdoors. Some days it sucks, it hurts my lungs like hell, but I just push through it. Like, can't isn't in my vocabulary other than scuba diving. I literally can't do that. Like I'll, I'll, I'd actually die. Like my lungs would just kind of go poof. And the thought of having a coughing attack deep underwater with a regulator in my mouth is probably the most horrifying thing I could think of. I do all that lung therapy twice a day. I take all my pills twice a day. I take my enzymes every time I eat. That doesn't include, like I said, if you're sick and having your, you know, your bad days where you don't even, you can't even get out of bed. Cause even me, someone with healthy lungs, some days I wake up and some days your body will just kind of go into like left field and I'll wake up and I'll have like, like bone, like my bones will be aching, I'll have chills, I'll be running a fever and I won't even be sick. The next day I'll be fine. But with CF, your body is in a constant state of trying to kind of fight itself. Some days I wake up and I feel like I could take on the world. Some days I wake up and I feel pathetic because I can't even take my dog on a walk because it sucks to walk to the kitchen. A ton of people that have CF that, you know, aren't very symptomatic, but just because your lung functions are higher than this doesn't mean you don't have your bad days and you don't feel like shit. Because if I don't do all those therapies every day, like I'm supposed to, I'm done. That doesn't include all of the food I have to eat today. Uh, people with cystic fibrosis, we have to get 3,000 calories a day in order to maintain weight. 3,000 calories plus in order to gain. Uh, if I'm working out and I'm in the gym, then I need upwards of 4,000 calories. And the reason behind that, so our body is constantly burning calories in an overdrive, fighting off the bacteria in us. Even as I'm sitting here right now, I'm burning calories. Pair that with our body's inability to absorb proper nutrition, and that's why you need so many calories. So on top of all of my medication and my normal routine for that, I also have to make sure that I hit my calorie count every day. And so that is the medication and the machines and a little bit of the routine that goes into, you know, everyday life with CF. Oh, and I forgot, now part of my CF routine is every month to make sure this thing doesn't clot, I get to stick a needle in my chest into this little nipple here and flush it whenever it's not in use to make sure that the line stays open and doesn't clot. So. I still haven't done that yet, haven't accessed it. I'm really actually stoked for it in a weird way. <clears throat> but that's part of my CF routine now too. Thank you guys for checking out the vlog though. I hope this answered some of your questions and curiosity about kind of what the daily life is for someone with CF. Again, this is just my routine. Everybody with CF is 100% different. No one is the exact same. Some people do way less than me. Some people do way more than me. So this is just my personal routine and kind of what goes on in my day-to-day -day life with CF. This is not a blanket statement. It does not apply to everyone. As of right now, we're at 8,975 subscribers. About to hit the big 9K. You guys are awesome. Like I said, I'll do another t-shirt giveaway at 10K. We're gonna do a little live chit chat whenever I hit 10K as well. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. 
like the video, click the bell so you're always notified of videos that I post. Tell your friends, your family, your grandmother, your dog, tell everyone to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media, all that awesome stuff. All the links to my social media are in the description. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much for tuning in as always. I will catch you guys during the next vlog. TGIF, have a great Friday. Love you all so much. Later.